What's up guys? It's me Victor again and 280 Zach. What's up guys? It's me Victor again and today we'll be doing a car review. So back here with me is a Datsun 280Z which if I recall correctly the production year was roughly 1975 to 1978 It's considered one of the first series It's under the S30 name but the later model because under the S30 they have the 240Z which is the famous Wangang car, the Devil Z And then you have this variant, the 280Z so let's walk around and have a look at this car. So what the owner did change is got a at one three spoke rim and one particular thing I like about it is the rear lights because if my memory serves when the owner of this car first brought it back, it was running R32 tail lights and that is just pure yuck. It's like freaking abing okay it's like abing riser. So I'm glad, I'm very glad that the owner actually took the advice and actually took the time to sort out the original rear light which is looking awesome on the car. So other than that, the owner also did an engine swap to the car because I don't think the old L series engine is favorable nowadays. Not to say that it's bad. I know in Japanese there are tuners that is producing 3 300 plus horsepower with the L series engine but to be more practical uh, the owner swap to a more modernized fuel injection engine so let's have a look at the engine so the owner did the RB25 engine swap so later we will see how the car runs with the RB25 engine in it the car is fairly stock as you can see it's still running the original clutch fan stock turbine and so on so I don't think we'll get any crazy horsepower or crazy pulls out of this car but yeah definitely I reckon it's it will drive better than the original L series unless there's argument that the L series is lighter than the 20, RB25 and maybe that uh, affects the handling a little bit but who knows? We shall check it out later. So for interior wise, the owner have ought to swap in uh, R33 GTS dashboard. Uh, I believe the reason for him to do that is basically maybe the original dashboard is badly damaged and it's not easy to sort out parts for it. It does look kind of cool because it, it gives you a more modernized look but if you are asking a purist, it's definitely a big no-no. Maybe sooner or later the owner might plan to sort out the original dashboard. That's all up to the owner but yeah for me I would say get back the original dashboard because that is how a Z is supposed to look like. So now I've already done a basic introduction about this Felady Z and what engine is running. So now let's go for a little drive in the Z and see how the car actually drives. Okay guys, so now I'm going to take the car out for maiden test drive and I'll try my best to give you guys, I'll try my best to express my thoughts on the car. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. Automatic. I wish it was a manual but automatic works at least you can tell yourself that it's easy to drive during a traffic jam so I guess this can be a daily driver's act so 
let's try a small pull and see how the car goes on D. Aircon off. So after the initial first pull, the engine felt heavy. It wasn't as responsive as I thought it would be. Since this car hasn't been driven for quite some time, I believe things like this do happen. But hopefully maybe a change of engine oil, change of automatic transmission fluid and a little bit of retuning the car might actually get back. Or oh, oh, I say the RB25 engine might get back to what it's supposed to feel like because even on a Skyline chassis, it feels much more talkier than this and the 280Z definitely have a lighter chassis compared to the Skyline. Alright guys, so now I'm driving the Z on a winding road, a very short winding road. So my initial feeling for the Z during its cornering or turning capability, I feel a bit weird because the Z actually have a shorter track and a longer wheelbase so it makes the car rectangular instead of a slightly more squarish design and the shorter track and longer width actually makes the cornering feel weird because it doesn't turn in like most conventional car that we are used to driving it actually has quite a fast response turning in and it gives you that sensation that if you turn fast and if you turn in fast at a certain speed it gives you that sensation that the tail is gonna slide but all in all it's very controllable it, it gives you that sensation of oversteer but it doesn't actually do that it just actually it just actually turns very well considering it's a 1975 car running on a much heavier engine than it was supposed to be and the suspension is quite stock so I'm actually quite surprised that the car handles actually well actually the turning is actually the turning is good I like I actually like it when once you get the hang of it I, yeah because uh, I believe that the short track is to help the car turn in faster while longer wheelbase actually helps the car to be more stable during uh, higher speed cornering so do correct me if I'm wrong on this and leave a comment in the comment box below I would like to hear what you guys think about this and am I wrong regarding the whole track width and wheelbase thingy because I'm not an expert in cars just having fun reviewing them driving them just enjoying the ride you know okay after driving the car for some time I actually noticed something that the brakes on this car is actually on the weak side considering it has a four, four port calipers at the front and a sing, single port caliper at the rear the braking power for me on this car is on yeah definitely on the weak side if the owner were to rectify that problem and the accelerating problem I believe this car will be one hell of a fun car to drive on a daily basis okay I guess this is the end of the review session so shout out a big thanks to the owner for trusting me with his car and guys do let me know what you guys like and dislike about this video on the comment box below and also do remember to give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel so i'll see you guys next time